Hello, my name is Marina Mayer, and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Refrigerated and Frozen Foods magazine. I'm sorry I can't be there with you all today. As you can see, I've been a bit busy. Then again, the camera does add 10 pounds, right? All jokes aside, before I begin, I want to thank the folks at the American Frozen Foods Institute for including me in this year's conference despite my condition and for allowing me to present our 2015 Sustainable Processor of the Year Award for the fourth consecutive year. Who is Refrigerated and Frozen Foods magazine? Refrigerated and Frozen Foods reaches more than 15,000 key decision makers within the cold storage and refrigerated warehouse sector. We provide editorial coverage on supply chain, logistics, food safety, energy management, cold packaging equipment, and new retail and food service products. We're also the only business-to-business -business trade publication dedicated to serving the $300 billion refrigerated and frozen foods market. In addition to the Sustainable Processor of the Year Award that I'm presenting today, we honor a Refrigerated Foods and Frozen Foods Processor of the Year and publish two annual reports, the State of the Industry and the Top 150 Frozen Food Processors. Our newly designed website averages about 7,000 unique browsers and 15,000 page impressions per month. It updates daily with breaking industry news, case studies, web exclusive content, free registration, and more. And our newly designed monthly e-newsletter, What's Hot and Cold, reaches more than 8,500 opt-in executives in engineering, production, plant operations, and supply chain and logistics. We also provide additional services such as custom e-newsletters, webinars, brochures, trade education pieces, sponsorship programs, and more. Now enough about us, let's get back to the award. The Sustainable Processor of the Year Award honors a cold food processor shipper for their sustainability initiatives, including packaging reduction, energy management, supply chain optimization, social responsibility, and more. This year's Sustainable Processor of the Year Award goes to the Schwann Food Company. Here's a look at how Schwann's exercises a greener way to do business in day in and day out. The Schwann Food Company employs 14,000 people across 450 locations nationwide, with 12 of those being frozen food manufacturing plants. Schwann's produces frozen beverages, pizza, desserts, pies, snacks, appetizers, and ice cream for food service, retail, and home delivery. They're also an AFI member. In 2014, Schwann's Home Service celebrated 40 years of using liquefied propane gas to fuel its fleet. Today, about 70% of the company's fleet of 4,500 delivery trucks runs on propane, avoiding the emission of more than 25,161 tons of greenhouse gases. Schwann's uses cold plate technology in its home delivery refrigeration systems to keep foods frozen. It also has programs in place to run more efficient home delivery routes, such as using lighter trucks, incorporating an idle shutdown set at one minute, and making 100% of its entire fleet equipped with idle shutdown. In 2014, Schwann's Consumer Brands, the subsidiary that serves grocery and club stores, added 38 new semi-trailers powered with electricity and installed telematic systems into all refrigerated semi-trailers. Schwann's Global Supply Chain subsidiary installed better refrigeration controls in plant freezer systems to help achieve its three-year goal of reducing energy usage in plants by 15%. And Schwann's Home Service conducted a freezer optimization project in its 400 U.S. home delivery depots. Safety is Schwann's first priority, and its goal is to one day achieve zero employee injuries and vehicular accidents. That's why in 2014, it achieved a more than 20% improvement in employee injuries and a near 17% improvement in the number of vehicular accidents company-wide. This was due in part to safety leadership, setting expectations, and encouraging broad engagement by employees at every level. In 2014, Schwann's recycled nearly 172,495 tons of materials, including old corrugated cardboard, plastic, steel, food waste, wastewater, and paper products. Currently, Schwann's is implementing a pallet optimization project designed to increase the number of cases stacked on a pallet. For the past six years, Schwann's has maintained a campaign to review the packaging of its products and determine where it could be more efficient yet still maintain the quality of its foods. Today, it requires that all Kurgit Master cases contain a minimum of 35% recycled content. Last year, Schwann's modified or eliminated the microwave trays for some of its Red Baron single serve pizzas and optimized its pie shell packaging. To meet consumer needs, Schwann's Food Service ensures that its more than 100 school foods meet or exceed USDA guidelines. 
Its website and mobile app features food recommendations for those with special dietary needs. In 2014, Schwann's Home Service unveiled its first organic fruit and vegetable offerings. And earlier this year, it expanded its gluten-free line to include bread, chicken, chicken nuggets, muffins, and brownie bites. Whether it's minimizing environmental impact, reducing packaging, or providing a safer, more efficient atmosphere for employees, the Schwann Food Company continues to exercise a greener way of doing business. We accept nominations for this award year-round, so to nominate your company or one of your customers, please go to refrigeratedfrozenfood.com backslash sustainable supply chain to fill out the nomination form. Any questions, feel free to reach out to me as well. And with that, I would like to personally congratulate the Schwann Food Company for receiving Refrigerated and Frozen Foods 2015 Sustainable Processor of the Year Award. Here today accepting the award on behalf of Schwann's is Bill Riley, their Chief Procurement Officer. Bill?